Blockchain technology is considered the second greatest technological invention after the internet. Blockchain was completely ruling the monetary system until Hashgraph hit the market. So guys, it's me Arya and today we're going to compare Hashgraphs and blockchain. So Hashgraph versus blockchain, which is better option? So let's compare these two nascent but potentially heavy technologies to find out which one is better. But before we start with the comparison, let me give you a gist of both these technologies. So let's start with blockchain first. So blockchain is basically an incorruptible digital distributed ledger. It facilitates interactions and exchanges among different users over the internet. Blockchain is based mainly on hash functions. The transactions in a blockchain is stored in a chronological order and is protected by strong cryptographic hash functions. The encrypted blocks are chained to the previous blocks via block hash of the previous block and thus creates a chain of blocks and hence the name blockchain. Now let's go on to hash graphs. So the hash graph algorithm invented by Lehman Baird, the co-founder and CTO of Swirls, is a consensus mechanism based on virtual voting algorithms combined with the gossip protocol to achieve consensus quickly, fairly, efficiently, and securely. Hashgraph protocol does the following. So firstly, it propagates information, example a transaction across a peer-to-peer -peer network where all peers are known to each other. Secondly, it propagates meta information to vote on the ordering of the information send events. Thirdly, it makes sure that after a while, you can be 100% certain that a piece of information is valid and the data is consistent. Now, that's what it does and it does it very well. It's relatively fast and it promises total ordering of events and under the assumption that asynchronous messaging is allowed, it promises a strong Byzantine fault tolerance. So let's get to comparing blockchains and hash graphs. So the first point that we are going to compare them is the throughput. So hash graph improves on the performance statistics of the Bitcoin network. Bitcoin operates at a maximum of seven transactions per second, while hash graph is only limited in relation to bandwidth and allows for over 250,000 transactions per second. Now the major component of Hashgraph is its virtual voting and gossip mechanism, which makes the system much faster, fairer, and more secure than a blockchain. Now the next point that we're gonna compare Hashgraphs and blockchain is fairness. So how is a Hashgraph fair? Here fairness refers to the ability of distributed ledger technologies to prevent nodes from manipulating the order of transactions. Hashgraph is fair because no single node can manipulate the transactions and the transactions are serialized with cryptographic timestamping, unlike in a blockchain where miners determine the order at which transactions are placed within each block, the transaction order can be extremely important. For instance, consider purchasing the same crypto asset where the first buyer will likely get a cheaper price. So let's say two people, Andy and Bob, are transacting separately in a blockchain network. Now a blockchain miner can choose to include Andy's transactions and delay Bob's transactions, which get added later in the blockchain when processed by other miners. However, in a hash graph, an individual must include both transactions in order they were received. So the next point that we're going to actually compare hash graphs to blockchain is the provability and the verifiability of both the technologies. So in hash graph, the transaction can be verified within a few seconds. Every node will be aware of the occurrences of new transactions and everyone in the community knows where the transaction is directed. Moreover, everyone will be aware that all the community members know about the transaction and eventually the transaction gets deleted. Now in a blockchain, the transactions are available to everyone considering it's a public blockchain and the transactions are recorded forever in an immutable ledger. Now, unlike blockchain, there is no need to carry the previous record in the ledger. That is why less than one gigabyte of storage is needed in hash graphs, whereas Bitcoin uses around 60 gigabytes of storage. So even your mobile phone can be processing a node. Now the next point that we're going to actually compare hash graphs and blockchain is a Byzantine agreement. So this term means that no single member can hold up the community from reaching a consensus. It also prohibits consensus from being disturbed and once consensus has been reached, the smaller group or individual cannot change it and every member will know that the network has reached consensus. On the contrary, blockchain is not Byzantine protected. The blockchain architecture is organized in such a way that miners are pigeonholed into boxes and advancement of the block is dependent on the computing power of participating nodes. In such a scenario, a group of miners can discard the current consensus and then they can create their own consensus by forking from the original chain. They can also exploit their hardware superiority to guide or stall the progress of the entire blockchain. So moving on to the next point is cost and performance. Now no mine transactions ever become stale. 
This is because the list of transactions or what's equivalent to the blockchain is never discarded by the community. All transactions are utilized to reach consensus. Whereas in the blockchain transactions are put into the containers called blocks that form a single long chain. If two miners create two blocks at the same time, the community will eventually select one and discard the other resulting in wastage of efforts. So in hash graphs, every container is used and none are discarded. And as we have seen with the Bitcoin blockchain, public networks can be expensive to run and have a number of efficiency issues tied to the proof of work mechanism. Since Hashgraph is proven to be fully asynchronous Byzantine, this means it makes no assumptions about how fast messages are passed over the internet and no proof of work is needed, which makes Hashgraph both cheap and efficient. Now, the next point we are gonna compare them is security and especially the security from DDoS attacks. Now, Hashgraph is safe from denial of service attacks because an attack on one member of a network will not stop the community from continuing processing transactions successfully. A total DOS attack is impossible as the attacker has to penetrate into every node system at the same time. The blockchain is resistant to DOS attacks as well. So are you guys already having a feeling that Hashgraph is better? Well, give it a thought. Now, despite its obvious benefits, Hashgraph has some way to go before it can boast of the network effects enjoyed by both Bitcoin and Ethereum. So first of all, it's not open source. One of the biggest buzzes about Hashgraph in the community is the fact that it is patented. This means that Lehman Baird decides who can build on it, who can't. For now, while he uses this to build on commercial networks such as a CUL ledger, also currently it can operate in a permission setting. Today, there is no public distributed ledger and what will happen when the verification script will have to run at every gossip? There exactly is no clarity. So the adoption process for a distributed ledger seems to be very challenging. Now in the Hashgraph protocol, each node has to store the totality of the Hashgraph and we really don't know how restrictive that could be. So overall, when we compare Hashgraph versus a blockchain, Hashgraph seems like a superior distributed ledger technology and it has also all the core features of a blockchain. So let us all appreciate the underlying technology in Hashgraph, but not with closed or blind eyes. And while we appreciate Hashgraph, we should also appreciate blockchains which have paved ways to likes of Hashgraph in just the same way they have paved the way for Ethereum, EOS, NEO, and many more. So guys, that was it from me. We compared Hashgraphs and blockchains very successfully. Leave a comment down below on what you think will be the better technology. And if you do like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you and goodbye.